John Jack Wheeler III was a 66-year-old man who worked for three presidential administrations and led the effort to create the Vietnam Memorial. So John was a very well-respected man, so it was very strange that his body turned up in a Wilmington, Delaware landfill. And here's a short summary of the events leading up to this. It was a late night around 11.30 when John's neighbor heard something outside. So out of curiosity, the neighbor peeked through the blinds and what they saw was a silhouette of a man coming across the street from a house that was under construction and it had smoke coming from it. It turned out that somebody threw smoke bombs inside of this building. This led to the fire department being called, but the only evidence they could find was a cell phone belonging to John. I just want to let you know that John was very opposed to this building being built because of historical reasons. The next morning on December 29th, John emails the Meyer Corp. He reports to them that his house has been burglarized and that his cell phone, key fob, and briefcase went missing. At 6 p.m. he walks into a pharmacy just blocks away from his Newcastle home. While he was in there, he asked the pharmacist if he could get a ride to Wilmington. Instead, the pharmacist offers to call a cab for John, but he declines. 40 minutes later, John is noticed in a Wilmington parking garage. He appears disoriented and tells the attendant that his briefcase was stolen and he can't find his car. The next morning, John's neighbor notices that there is an open window on the Wheeler's house. So the neighbor enters the house and he notices everything scattered around and all signs pointing to a burglary. He calls John and Catherine but unfortunately he gets a voicemail and no response from both of them. John's wife and daughters also try reaching John but unfortunately they get no response from him either. Later that afternoon John is noticed entering multiple office buildings, even a law firm asking to have a meeting but before he could have that meeting he left. Later that evening, multiple cameras catch John walking east towards Rodney Square. And the area he was heading toward was known for high crime. The next morning, police are called to come investigate a body at the Cherry Island landfill in Wilmington. And police would identify this body as John Wheeler. Some believe that John was robbed and beaten to death. However, none of his expensive things like his watch and ring were never taken from him. Some also believe that his bipolar disorder could have led him into harm's way. Others believe in a little bit more of a sinister thing, believing that his work with the government led to his death. 